Okay, I went ahead and boxed up my little uh, jewel ringer thing here, and uh, I decided it was it to a, at a point that I wanted to go ahead and put it in a box. So um, it's got a little uh, potentiometer built into it now, and then an on-off switch with a high-low setting. And I've just got a 9-volt battery in there, and I've got a charge port here so that you can take one of these wall wart uh, chargers here and <coughs> use a rechargeable battery in it and just charge it back up again. And there's the circuit right on top. And uh, I decided to leave that out there in the open because it was so interesting, the whole circuit. So it's wide out in the open. And sure enough, I burned up three transistors getting this thing to go in this box the way I wanted it. And so what I'm thinking now is I may put a socket here for this transistor because, uh, like I say, I've been burning them up. Uh, they overheat if you crank this up too high and then they blow. Or if you short something out, somehow it blows. And it's kind of like a fuse to keep the transformer from blowing. But anyway, I may put a socket here somewhere so that I can use a TIP31C. And that's what uh, Conrad is using very successfully. Some of the other people are too. And uh, I might do that. But uh, anyway, this is in a box now. And uh, all boxed up, ready to go. And, and uh, it will run from uh, about 0.3 milliamps, 300 uh, microamps, on up to about 200 milliamps. At 200 milliamps, this starts burning up that transistor. So uh, anyway, the, um, the idea here is to not overdrive this thing and keep it in a situation where it uh, it's happy. <laughs> so anyway, that's going way down to where it's flickering at about that magic 0.3 milliamps. And this I'll show you where about 200 milliamps is. Right about there is 200 milliamps, 150, 200 milliamps. So anyway, I've got it also so it'll run on uh, a couple of AA rechargeables or like I say, a 9 volt. And then with the uh, wall outlet with that uh, charge port right there. So anyway, I've um, had a lot of fun with this. I don't know where it's going. We're, we're doing a lot of scope shots right now, taking a look at what the scope pattern looks like on this little thing. And uh, very interesting project. I've, I've had a lot of fun with this jewel ringer. Thanks for watching.